My name is Desiree. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the neighborhood before we get started. Today I'm going to actually be doing a very anticipated video, the Realtor Reacts to Ace Family Official House Tour. I know I'm five days late and it already has 13 million views, but I'm anxious to see it because guilty. I've seen every Ace Family video upload. Um, so I know a little bit of backstory about the house. They actually saw it, I think almost a year ago. Um, it was actually two individual mansion homes and they actually purchased these two mansion homes and made it into one custom made mega mansion house the architecture is actually very very modern so a lot of linear lines uh very minimalistic very techy very new just know that their original house tour is actually one hour long but i cut down a lot of the footage just to focus on the house tour alone so if you want to see the full video go to the link in the description and i'm stepping out to leave it all behind i'm confident your love will be my sight just one looking at you open up my eyes and i'll stay with you forever all the time and i'm stepping out to leave it all behind i'm confident your love will be my sight and any house the main important factor and the commonly known phrase in real estate is location 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 if you're going to buy a house that's the number one thing you want to focus on like and if your budget kind of has you compromising the area then you kind of get the best location that you can afford um, but if you're limitless budget like the ace family um their house is located on the top of a mountain with a complete 360 degree view that is priceless um i can only imagine how much this house would be customly appraised Stay. you got big things coming part of your plan part of your plan step up in your life i see you the one i want the love that you were giving is salvation you will keep me moving if i'm patient i just want to get right to the race so just by seeing the entryway, their color scheme is completely with the trends with the grays and the whites and the black. It's very monochromatic. I personally am a fan of the modern design. The only issue with these modern contemporary houses is that it can feel cold. So let's see if they were able to warm up this type of design. And you got the fire like I'm blazing Cause I'm just trying to copy when I face time Oh, hello there. You guys are a bit early. Good thing we're expecting you guys. that it actually looks like a rendering of a house. You know those pictures of houses that aren't actual houses, they're just a graphic design of a house where it's perfect? The house looks like it's a rendering, but it's actual video footage of the real house. It's, it looks, the curb appeal is just perfect in my opinion. It's the type of house that you actually print out and put it on your vision board for goals. It looks that nice. between the two homes so there's this like like two level entryway when you open up the doors typically for every room you have a focal point um so when you open the door it's kind of like offset to the left i know with modern homes there's a lot of asymmetry and it doesn't look bad obviously it's a multi-million dollar home it just would have been nice if they kind of took that slab that kind of looks like an eye i think it would have looked better without it 
and maybe a complete floor to ceiling window um if it could like as soon as you open the door see the entire backyard or appreciate the view just from the entryway because right now it's like a wall and then window art window and it, your eyes kind of don't know where to go uh, maybe when they hire someone that's like professionally interior a, a professional interior designer they can kind of work it to where you open the door and your eyes just go to one place there's kind of a lot happening even though their house is kind of empty so obviously they're still moving um, but I feel like it, the, the, the focal point of this property is the view so when you come in you want to like see it right away like I think it would have made the home look even bigger than what it actually is and I that's just my opinion but let's keep looking <laughs> completely monochromatic maybe in the future they can bring someone in to add texture and like depth everything kind of looks a little flat because everything is black gray white <laughs> even with a space that's pretty modern and has the risk of being very cold Plants is the way to go. It transforms a room into being a cozy and welcoming space. This is pretty much a glass house. It has so many windows. organization kind of flow into the contemporary house is acrylic <laughs> So we come upstairs and like Catherine mentioned we look at the money tree. Over right here we have the gym. We'll get to that next. On this side of the house we have the main guest room. We have the guest room. So the guest room looks like this right now. This is actually, if you guys know, this is our old bed and our old master bedroom, but we just put it in here for now. I'm actually gonna redo this entire room and I have like ideas for it, so I'm gonna wait. Um, but we'll be showing that to you later on when it's actually done. And now I take you to probably the biggest balcony in the world. And it's honestly so big that we don't even know what to do with it. Um, but it takes you around to the front of the house again. Look at the size on of the balcony side, for this guest room. Side, Can you imagine being the guest and having a balcony that size? Closet. It's like another two bedrooms there. worth. We don't have all of the equipment in just yet, but we do have some stuff. This is the balcony that completes the Ace Family House. Because this balcony connects all the way from the gym all the way to our master bedroom. So instead of having to walk all the way downstairs to come up here, you can literally just walk across. So yeah, this is the bathroom for now. It's actually pretty big. Yes. But like I said, and so that floors, bathroom is solid. probably the size so of most of LA's I bedrooms. The fact that you can look down and look at the family from down here and see the TV, see what's going on. Over here to your left is a room that we just can't show you. Over here to the right is where the magic does happen. Okay. 
this is where we get our little, you know, our filming sessions going right here. Baby, should we show her? This how is it looks? so cute how it looks. It makes should, me happy. Should we show her? Should we sit down? Yeah. Like we're gonna film a video. And Ace Fam, I know a lot. So I know that they, a lot of people are kind of saying like, why do they need a house that big? But ultimately, the Ace Family is a company, a corporation, a brand. Um, they didn't just make a mega mansion into their house. They actually transformed it into their everything. All right, so out here, but this room is our secret room <laughs> because a music studio, soon to be music studio. There's nothing in here now other than a couch. But this couch is comfortable. It's so. super comfortable. Um, but yeah, so all my music stuff's gonna go here. All right, so do we continue on the balcony or do we wrap around? Um, do we wrap around, right? Yeah, we wrap around. So this room, Ace Family, is the man cave for all my homies. If you guys love games like me, if you're a kid at heart, you will love this room. to have a room where you have arcade games, a pool table, who knows what else they have in there. And I love that it has the sliding door so that you can have it uh, like a shared indoor outdoor space so you can be in the you can be in the house playing pool but still be a part of everyone that's like outside. It's like a, the perfect home for entertaining. You already know what it is. It is the Ace Family movie theater. Okay, a movie theater. What let's see we have a a game room, we have a, we have a music recording room, we have a gym, a guest room. That's like, I don't know how many things already. I think it would be smart for them to just call it the right wing and the left wing of the house. There's just so many different things. I think this is now left wing. Here is our secondary living room. What do you do with that space? It's just so much house. There's no way late at night we're gonna walk all the way across the house to get some water or get something to drink. We wrap back around here. We have the place where it all goes down. Where all your editing goes down. Yes, my editing room. It's very simple right now because um, I haven't put too much thought into it, but <laughs> Pretty good. Ace Family. So that was their, where Austin edits his videos. I'm actually surprised that it's so small. I thought that they were gonna make it into more of like a office space. Have you seen like those luxurious office spaces with like the library? Insert photo here. I thought that that kind of would have been more beneficial considering they're a massive brand. I don't know if they're gonna have a separate room for an office and have this just the editing room. It's kind of hard to say, because again, this house is very, very limited on character. So now we come upstairs to the other side, right? So don't go to your left. We're gonna go over to the right, where the girl side. The love that you were giving is salvation. You will keep me moving if I'm patient. I just wanna get right to the racer. You love me so I could have be complacent. Not afraid of the battles I've been facing. Nothing that you do is ever wasted. You got the fire like I'm blazing Cause I was trying to copy when I first time Just been looking at you open up my eyes And I'll stay with you forever all the time the girls, the girls playroom and bedroom that they're sharing is adorable And I know a lot of people are saying that like A huge mega mansion and the girls are sharing But I mean right now she's a toddler and, and a, a toddler and a baby infant You kind of don't need that much space And it looks like they're pretty much Their room is pretty much the player room where they have all their toys and there's not really much to it but I think once they get older 
they'll transform the playroom into a bedroom and the other room into the, one of the other girls' is a, a sole bedroom. Um, so as, as things, as the years go on, this house will be transformed. And they did mention that someone was going to come in to decorate. I, I'm wondering if Mr. Kate, the person who designed my living space, is actually decorating the girls' space. I'm really hoping it's Mr. Kate just because I love her. <laughs> but leave your comments and let me know who you think it's going to be. I think we only have the master left. Love a good double door entryway for a master suite. to see like some very very elegant black and white images or uh, photos of the family but I thought it was interesting that they were kind of like going back and forth about the seating area in the master bedroom because the interesting thing is that the the fireplace is actually facing is offset facing sideways from the bed and typically you have a fireplace facing the bed and that allows you to kind of create a seating area to kind of cozy up against the fireplace it would have, I think it would have been so much better if they had the fireplace kind of angled out so it's not like against the glass wall of the view. So it's kind of like an awkward thing where I would think they would have to, I think it would be best to ask a professional how they could do it because Catherine's thinking put a seating area to face the fireplace, which is how it typically is, and Austin's saying, you know, the view, let's get seating to like just cozy up and appreciate the view. It would have been nice to have the fireplace angled so you can have a, a seating area where you can pre appreciate both at the same time. Um, again, these are just minor things. It's no big deal. Moving on to their master bathroom. I'm actually, I, I think that the stone that Catherine chose for her vanity, I'm obsessed with it. I personally love pink. And I, it, this is like the only part where I see true character in the house and obviously it's a custom stone piece that they that she requested in the house and I, I love it. I mean it's a total woman's glam seating area um, and I was kind of with her on the chair. That whole vanity area looks very very elegant and the chair is very cute. Um, so I'm sorry Austin, that's gonna have to be switched out. But you know, we appreciate the little things, right ladies? Now let's look into their <laughs> I just kept drawing to was the electrical panel in the closet like let's put some artwork over that ASAP or something ASAP because my eye was just drawn to that electrical pa panel and it was just a complete eyesore for a room that was just spectacular I think we're finally heading into the backyard of the house so we're wrapping up the tour so far blown away the view the custom basketball court that they put in the built-in trampoline the 
infinity pool I, I did read some comments about like why didn't they put a play area for the girls and if you guys remember the other home where that got broken into that had a very cute play area but the design the architecture of that home was very traditional a play area in this home would be would have to look very very sleek so that it would not take away from the design of the house so i think they kind of tried to balance off like not having a play area with putting in that trampoline because i don't it would have to be one very very futuristic playhouse so it wouldn't really mess up the aesthetic and i hate to say it but i wouldn't put it in there either it's a modern house you really don't really put playhouse playhouses in but it's a 10 out of 10 for me that's it for today's realtor reacts give this video a thumbs up so i know you liked it comment what you want to see next and ring the notification bell so you don't miss the next one today's neighbor shout out goes to jaime resendiz resendiz <laughs> Sorry if I butchered that. But thank you guys for watching and until next time, bye bye. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.